Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is determine the sequence of genes along a chromosome based on the following recombination frequencies AB 8 map units, AC 28 map units, AD 25 map units, BC 20 map units and BD 33 map units. As usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. My first hint would be those we have here uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fragments. We cannot put them, these fragments, in uh, any order. Like, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 fragments. And we cannot just recombine, for example, 5. 3, 4, uh, 1, and 2. And as you see, there are many different variants possible how we uh, recombine these fragments. Why? Because if we combine all these sequences in any order, 8 plus 28 plus 25 plus 20 plus 33, we are going to get 106 map units, and this is impossible. Maximum what we can get 50 map units and uh, or in other words 50 uh, centimorgans so that give us um, information that some of these fragments lay within other fragments so this is the first hint and also the second hint would be that we have to start plotting a gene sequence from the longest Fragment and here the longest fragment would be fragment B D gene B and D that separates 33 map units. So let's do it. Uh, B gene B and gene D. So 33 map units between two these genes, or we also can say 33 centimorgans. And by the way, another hint would be, uh, it wouldn't help to solve our problem, but just for your extra knowledge, 33 map units uh, on the chromosome number 1 would be different than 33 map units on the chromosome number 22. Number 1 chromosome in human karyotype is the biggest chromosome and 22 is smallest. So this is just relative, um, relative units. So 33 units on the large chromosome would be much larger than 33 map units on the uh, small chromosome. So uh, next we have to find, so uh, let me underline this one. So next uh, we have to find next uh, largest fragment, which is AC, which is 28 map units. But here is a problem. We do not have neither A nor C. So we don't know where to put it inside, outside to the right, outside to the left. So we cannot use it for now. And next largest uh, fragment would be fragment AD, which is 25 map units. And we have D here and we have D here. So where we have to put gene A to the right or to the left. If we put gene A to the right, 25 map units between gene A and D, 25 this fragment plus 33 this fragment between D and B would give us 58 map units, which is much more than 50 maximum. So we have to put gene A within uh, uh, within this fragment B and D, so we have to put it somewhere here. So now we can say that uh, AD would have 25 map units, and also, as you see, we have another fragment AB here, which is 8 map units, 25 map units between A and D and between B and A, 8. And this is exactly 33 
minus 25 would give us a length of this fragment of 8 map units. So uh, basically we can get a number that is slightly more than 50 map units. Why? Because we uh, do uh, this frequency of uh, crossing over between different genes and as I said these numbers are relative numbers not uh, exact numbers so slight deviation is possible for example we can get a fragment where two extreme genes would be slightly uh, further from each other than 50 map units so uh, but not as much as like uh, 58 map units so uh, we can underline this fragment to a b uh, so 8 map units a b uh, a d uh, 25 map units so let's underline it's two so we have a c and b c so b c and a c uh, we can put um, say uh, this fragment a c we can put gene c to the left of a or to the right 28 so if we put to the right that means that gene c have to be uh, three units right to the d if we put gene c to the left eight map units 28 here so we have to put 20 extra map units here and we would have gene c here so now we have two variants that is both possible so 20 map units here plus 33 would give us 53 which is a small deviation from the 50 but within normal range and uh, second variant 33 plus 3 would give us 36 which is also uh, within 50 uh, map units so which variant to choose so far we cannot uh, tell unless we would analyze other fragments that we have here so we can underline this two those we have two variants possible so bc uh, have 20 map units between them b and c as you see have 20 map units but if c we would plot to the right of the a uh, we would have here 36 map units so we can say uh, that uh, gene c have to be to the left so basically now we have our order of genes on this chromosome which is gene C, then gene B, then gene A, and gene D. And this is not the only variant possible. Another variant can be also gene D, gene A, gene B, and gene C. So this is just basically the same uh, order D, A, D, A, B, B, C, C. So now we know the order of the genes relative to each other, but we don't know uh, how these genes uh, lay on the chromosome uh, relative to uh, centromere. Once again, uh, the order of the genes can be C, B, A, and D, or it can be uh, D, A, B and C. So both variants are possible and we can tell uh, the exact order of the genes on the chromosome relative to centromere if we would have more genes on the other uh, arm of the chromosome then we would be able to tell uh, exact uh, order of the genes. You may also ask why do we need to solve this kind of problems when 
we already have um, machines that can sequence uh, genomes in uh, just a short period of time. Still, because in eukaryotes, for example, uh, coding sequence of genes represent only 2% of the whole chromosome and 89% would be non-coding sequence. And non-coding sequence means that it can be very weird. For example, for thousands and thousands of nucleotides, we can uh, get a sequence that would be repetitive of the, for example, um, of the uh, thymine, thymine, cytosine, thymine, thymine, cytosine, thymine, thymine, cytosine, and so such sequence can repeat thousands and thousands of times. So even if we would uh, replicate uh, genome or, or certain chromosome within uh, bacteria, uh, breaking it to small fragments, we wouldn't be able to connect such uh, sequences of genes that are separated, but uh, such repetitive sequences. So. Uh, it is very helpful to know at least uh, 10, 20, 50 uh, positions along the chromosome with known genes relative to each other. So, in this case, uh, computers can assemble uh, all the rest genes relative to these known points. And this is very helpful for uh, genome sequencing. So, still, scientists uh, use this uh, semi-manual method uh, in order to find order of the genes on the chromosomes. Those very sophisticated programs uh, exist. Still, uh, we need to know how this um, uh, gene mapping works in theory. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, share this video with your classmates and good luck on your exam. See you in the next video. Goodbye.